Hello everyone, so in this video let us talk about one more problem from lead code. It's a medium problem. The problem name is insert interval. So the problem statement goes like this that you're given an array of non overlapping intervals which has a start and an end point. So you are given some sort you can imagine a number line in which there are different intervals which are non intersecting. Now you have a new interval that you have to insert between these intervals. Okay. Now the main problem is like you have to insert it and return the new interval array. But the main constraint is that if this interval that you're inserting is not overlapping with the rest of the intervals that are already there, then you just insert it. If it is in like, if it is uh, what you can say insert when you're inserting it and it is merging or overlapping with the rest of the intervals, you will merge all of the interval, which this particular interval is intersecting with and make a complete new interval. I'll tell you with example, don't worry. And then we have to return the new inserted array that have all the intervals. So let's take an example first. So let's say that you have this as a number line and there are different intervals like this. Let's say one interval is like this. Okay. This is one interval. This ne next interval is like this. Next interval is like this and next interval like this. So these are different intervals. Now you can assume that this is a number line that is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. I'm not talking about the numbers because it will become too clumsy, but I hope you get the point what these intervals are. Now let's say that I want to insert some interval and it is here. Then it is no problem to actually insert these intervals. That is fine. But let's say that you want to insert an interval here. So this interval is intersecting with this interval as well. And thus you will combine both of these intervals together and form a new interval like this, because this interval is there. This interval is this. If you insert this interval, this will obviously be combining with this interval and this will become the whole together this new interval. And thus the new array that you return will have this interval, this interval, this combined interval and this interval. So my main point is that whatever interval you are using, whatever you have to insert, if it is overlapping with any intervals, let's say it is like this. So it is inter completely taking this interval as well as this interval is half. So the whole new interval will be like this and this interval and this interval. So when you're inserting a new interval, if it is overlapping with any other intervals, you will merge them together to form a new interval. And then you have to return the new array that has the new intervals. I hope you get the point. So how you can solve about this problem. So what you can actually do is that let's take an example that you are inserting the interval that is this only. Okay. Now the main thing is that there are some intervals that are before this interval, some intervals that are after this interval and some intervals that are intersecting with this interval, the new interval I'm talking about. This is new interval. So there are some intervals that are before this, some are after this and some are intersecting already with this interval. So my point is key, the intervals that are not intersecting and you find out those. Yes. So if any interval has the end, so every uh, has a S of I and E of I, the start or uh, start I and end I. So if this end I of the interval is smaller, smaller means that the value of this in the number line, then the new interval. So this interval that is, let's say new interval S N new uh, start of the new interval and end of the new interval. If the, so to check whatever intervals are before this new interval, you can just check that if the end interval of the i th like if the end point of the i th interval is smaller than the starting point of the new interval, then they are before. Similarly, if any interval is after, then the end interval is smaller than the start interval of the intervals that you're inserting. So it is after. So you can just check out with this if conditions like what intervals are before and what intervals are after. And then rest of the intervals are merging. So you can just merge out all those intervals. That's the logic. Nothing much complicated here as well. So you can just iterate over, over this whole array and find out what are intervals are before. You just put them, then make a combined interval, put that. What intervals are left after that, just put that and that's it. Now you just have to check that what intervals are intersecting. How you can check that? So let's say, let's take an example here as well. Okay. 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 Let's draw and move this out so that it will become more clear to you. Uh, let's say that the new interval is such that I want to insert it here. So if the interval that I want to insert has any point, like if has the, so this is the start of the new interval and end of the new interval. If it has the start point and end point between any of the intervals that I'm iterating over. So I'll use that. I like for loop iterate over every, any interval and check that whether it is intersecting with a new interval. It is intersecting. No, it is intersecting. No, it is intersecting. Yes. How you can check that? 
how can it inter like how it will intersect it will intersect if the interval that i'm iterating over has the start or end point between the new interval that i'm inserting inside okay so this is the new interval that i want to insert and for every interval i will check that whether it was intersecting with the interval i'm talking about or not it is intersecting because it has this point between the bounds of the intervals that i like the new interval so if this point is inside this bound or this point also can happen inside this bound let's say that like the new interval that i want to insert is like this so this will come inside the bound or both of them come inside the bound so it is like this so like the interval on the inside is like this so both of the inside the bonds okay or like this is in, like both are inside the bound so there are three cases like both them inside the bounds out, outside bound or like maybe or like one is inside the bound one's outside the bond if any one of these four conditions hit like any one of these conditions hit then this new interval is intersecting with this i interval and you have to like find out the merge interval okay so how you can find out the merge interval let's say that this is the new interval and this is the old, old interval in this scenario we have to find out the the larger picture the larger picture is that whatever is the minimum among both of these so let's take an example let's say that one of the interval is like this and the merge interval is like this now what is the new interval so we have to now the new interval is from this this point to this point so what is the minimum of both of these points that is the left point and the maximum of both of the right points because these are like so this is one point this is one point because i want to take the maximum one that is the starting point of the new interval and among both of these points the smaller one so this is the smallest point this will form a new interval i hope you get the point so you for every interval that is intersecting we have to find the new merge interval and then finally when we have the merge interval we just push it out that's our logic let us move on to the code part so how you can work it out is that you have the new and like you have the answer vector that is having like storing out the new intervals so first iterate over the whole interval array and find out that are not intersecting on the left hand side that is the case push that the, the, the for this for loop is checking out what all intervals are on the right hand side and not, not intersecting push that and this is the one in which i am finding out what are intervals are intersecting with the current case so what i'll do is that if any one of them having the bound inside the new interval or if they are covering by the interval so these are the cases you can just check it out then what you'll do the the left hand side will becomes the minimum of both the current and the new interval that is intersecting and the right hand side is the maximum of the current in, in, interval that are intersecting and the new intersecting the like the new interval that is that we are iterating over the i interval that's it so these are four for loops like three for loops sorry uh, for left hand side intersecting one and the right hand side and uh, you can see that it is like generally o of n only because they are different for loops so o of n is a time complexity for this problem as well that's the logic and code part for this problem thank you for watching this video till the end i will see you next one till the keep coding and bye